Hi Bellwood, we're back with another installment of Too Cool for School and we have senior Colton Gordy here with us. Hello. Um, Hello. <laughs> he sells and he buys and sells uh, name brand clothing and it's kind of like what, uh, if you saw my story last year on Braden Heisler, it's kind of like that but with clothes. So tell us a little bit about the whole deal with that. Uh -huh. I'd say the business mentality kind of started out in probably in first or second grade. Um, basically, I would just buy ice cream for kids that if you have, if basically kids get free lunch, they can't buy extras. So I buy ice cream for them for a dollar. I charge them two dollars the next day, and uh, eventually it came to an end because my mom found out and she got a little mad. But I, I made a couple, a couple blocks as a little kid. I was always hustling, you know. But uh, I definitely like the whole business idea, and you know. With designer clothes, it's more or less like supply and demand because you get on the Supreme site Thursdays, you got about three minutes to get what you want, it max. Usually some hype items sell out in about 20 seconds, so if you're quick enough to get it, people are going to pay whatever you ask, basically. So I mean, some shirts will sell for about a thousand, uh, some hoodies will sell for about two thousand close to. It just depends on how bad someone really wants it. Okay. So are you like... Are you selling them to make money to buy more to sell, yeah. or are you selling no, them I'm to selling make profit? Them. No, I don't make any profit at all. I sell it actually, and then I end up, if I make 20 bucks on selling a shirt, which is pretty typical, I just buy a shirt for myself. I buy, sell three shirts maybe, get 60 bucks, buy a shirt for myself, and then it's free, you know? I mean, I may have spent a couple hours getting it, selling it, hustling out of a little bit, but I still get necessarily a free shirt, if you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. So are you gonna keep doing this? Like, yeah. I know that you do it with Supreme. Are you gonna do it with like other brands? Yeah, I mean, um, I might get into like Bape and Palace. They're not as easy because like with Supreme, if it says Supreme on it, everybody's gonna want it. That's just kind of how it is. With Palace, it's more or less skaters. But like Bape, I mean, it just really depends. Kind of Supreme is the biggest one that you can do it with. But yeah, I'd like to continue on other things eventually. Okay. Are you gonna like keep doing this like after senior year? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. What other things do you do other than hustle um, people? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm pretty active, so I like to work out a lot, and basically every day. Maybe if it's just lifting, you know, <laughs> lifting a little bit or something, just getting ready for the wrestling season. I like to hang out with my friends. And I really like to buy stuff, especially clothes. And I like to buy a lot of stuff that I don't sell, just for myself. So it's kind of fun, you know. Go shopping. Go shopping. I guess I'm like a girl in that sense, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. He. Um, it's about color coordination, you know. Um, yeah, everything always matches. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he spends good money on his stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Colton. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>